Hello and welcome back to Feed My Sheep Foundation Bible Study. Uh, we're going to continue our Bible study in the book of 2 Chronicles on this video. And uh, we're in chapter 8. And it begins uh, with the ending of Solomon after he built the house and did the dedication unto the Lord. And it starts, uh, and if it comes to pass at the end of 20 years, where it came to pass that at the end of 20 years Solomon had built the house of the Lord in his own house okay that the cities which Haran had restored to Solomon Solomon built them and caused the children of Israel to dwell there so here's cities also that Solomon uh, restored and he built Solomon went to Hamath Zoab and prevailed against it and he built Tadmor in the wilderness and all the store cities which he built in Hamath. Also he built Beth Horon, the upper and Beth Horon, the nether, lower, fenced cities with walls, gates, and bars. He was a very, very industrious and he was very much involved with uh, creativity and creating the newness of the cities and things that were being done. Uh, let's see here. So now we're on um, verse 6, and it says, And Baaleth, and all the store cities that Solomon had, and all the chariot cities, and the cities of the horsemen, and all that Solomon desired to build in Jerusalem, and in Lebanon, and throughout all the land of his dominion. For as for all the people that were left of the Hittites, and the Amorites, the Perizzites and the Hittites and the Jebusites. Now all of these different people I just listed and it says it right here were not of Israel. So they were not a part of the tribal Israel and at one point in time they were uh, fighting these people <laughs> and there were some that was killed and it says but of their children who were left because here it is right here some of them were dead. They got killed but there was some children left after them in the land and whom the children of Israel consumed and not. Okay, so they didn't kill these. There were some left. So Solomon make, uh, he did make, to, he made them to pay tribute. And even unto this very day, they pay tribute. And it goes on to say, but of the children of Israel, did Solomon make not servants, okay, for his work. Uh, for they were men of war and chief of his captains and captains of his chariots and horsemen. And these were the chief of King Solomon's officers, even 250 that bear rule over the people. So he had his own entourage, Solomon did, in which he had them rule over certain people that were from uh, these genealogies that we just listed in uh, verse 7, the Hittites, Perizzites, Amorites, the Hevites, and the Jebusites, and they all served Solomon. And became his slave and he says even unto this day they pay tribute unto Solomon in the house of the Lord and it goes on to say and Solomon brought up the daughter of Pharaoh out of the city of David unto to the house that he built and for her and uh, for he said my wife shall not dwell in the house of David king of Israel because the places are holy wherein to the ark of the Lord has come so then Solomon offered burnt offerings unto the Lord on the altar of the Lord, which he had built before the porch, even after a certain rate, every day offering according to the commandment of Moses, on the Sabbaths and on the new moons and on the solemn feasts, three times in a year, even in the Feast of Unleavened Bread and in the Feast of Weeks and in the Feast of Tabernacles, he continued to offer sacrifices, burnt offerings unto the Heavenly Father, it says here. And, uh, yeah, verse 11, getting out, uh, because we went by that without actually talking about it, that Solomon brought up the daughter of Pharaoh, which means he was married to uh, her, her too, which he mentions here, my wife shall not dwell in the house of David. And that's going to be a whole nother video, because uh, Solomon was told at one, one point in time by God not to marry certain women, okay? But... We'll get to that whenever you're ready to do a Bible study regarding Solomon.
but I just wanted to point that out because that is something that we're going to uh, go into and discuss. So then he goes on, getting back to our Bible study, Second Chronicles chapter 8. He goes on to say, even after a certain rate every day, offering according to the commandment of Moses, okay, where he continued to offer offerings. Verse 14, and he appointed according to the order of David his father, the courses of the priests to their service and the Levites to their charges, you know, because the Levites were always re responsible for, in the Old Testament, they were responsible for the services in the house of the Lord. And it says, to priests, uh, I mean, to praise and minister before the priest, as the duty of every day required, the porters also by their courses at every gate. For so had David, the man of God, commanded. And they departed not from the commandment of the king unto the priests and Levites concerning any matter or concerning the treasures. Now all the work of Solomon, Solomon was prepared unto the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord, and unto uh, it was finished. So the house of the Lord was perfected, and he took his time building it, and he built many other cities. He built his own house. He, he was very, very industrious. Verse 17, Then went Solomon to Ezi, Zingibur, and Elah at the seaside of the land of Edom. And Haram sent him by the hands of his servants' ships, and servants that had knowledge of the sea, and they went with the servants of Solomon to Urfur, and took them four hundred and fifty talents of gold, and they brought them to the king uh, Solomon. So many people were coming in to visit King Solomon after they heard, like, in that area of his greatness and him building the house of the Lord. So there was many people that uh, were coming to see, uh, you know, to see the house of the Lord and see what was going on in that part of the region due to him building up a lot of things that he rebuilt it and that he did build completely. So that is, uh, let's see. Now, a lot of the story regarding the building of this house can be found over in 1 Kings. And as I stated, going through uh, Chronicles, we're going to just be going over chapters that are also located in other books. Like this chapter, we just read about, it's over in 1 Kings. And it talks about uh, when, God, when uh, Solomon was building the house and how he did the dedication unto the Lord. Many other chapters that we're going to be reading in Second Chronicles is going to be like that too. And as we go through and come to them, I will mention that just to uh, help us to get an understanding of the book of Chronicles. You know, because Chronicles, it seems to be just recorded events. First and Second Chronicles is re previously recorded events regarding uh, the different kings that ruled and reigned and rulership over the children of Israel and um, they just do a recap on all of that so that's going to bring us to the conclusion of chapter 8 in 2 Chronicles for today's Bible study God bless you and I hope that we can study again as we continue to go forward on the Feet by Sheep Foundation Bible Study video channel until then peace